Well, we yeah, just see you again. Yes, well, it's a bit here I am. Well, I first became really aware of the, uh, the situation with Indigenous people only a few years ago. It was only when my niece started telling me about what is actually happening, particularly in the Northern Territory, that I was absolutely shocked. I could not believe that the Indigenous people in Australia were still living in abject poverty, were ill, were dying 10 years younger than white people in Australia. Well, I decided to make a trip out to the Northern Territory, Alice Springs, and have a look for myself. The elders that I've met and have got to know a little bit now, they've had water cut off. They don't have electricity. It really was very, very emotional. There were times when I was, you know, just in tears at, at the way that, that, that these people have been treated. I think the general view of Indigenous people is that they, they're second-class citizens. Hey, welcome, welcome, Thank welcome, welcome. Well, happy New Year. Thank you, you too. You yeah, too. happy New Year. I think a lot of people look down on them. They don't realise the beauty they have, the knowledge they have. Indigenous people realise that they're, they're not separate from the earth. So I've been quite outspoken about this in Australia. I came out and said I'm not going to recognise Australia Day, which is which is January the 26th. That is the day that the British landed in, us, in Australia, which of course is a day of a lot of pain because that's when the murdering started happen, happening, the land capture. It's just not a day for Australians to celebrate. And I've certainly had a lot of, a lot of support, but I've also had a lot of backlash from people who say, you're not Australian. Well, I am Australian and I have, and I have a passion to, to, for all Australians to celebrate, not just the white Australians. Well, Children's Ground is a charity that's empowering the, the community themselves in saying, the system doesn't seem to be working for you, what can we do? And they said, well, what we want to do is we want to go back on our land. We need to learn, the kids need to learn English, of course, but, you know, we want to teach them the tradition. We want to teach them our culture. We want to teach them our language. The charity is empowering them to do that and also giving them employment within the community, talking to the elders. There's Probably their greatest concern is the well-being of the children, but also the fact that they're losing their language and their culture. This is Australia's ugly secret. As normal people recognise, gee, you know what, there's something, there really is something wrong with this. I'm optimistic about the future. I think things can be improved. There's, there's, no, there's no doubts about it. I think they need to really take a look at Children's Ground, which needs sponsorship and needs attention. It's empowering the Indigenous people, the community. They know what's best for their people.